All right, guys, and we're back. Uh, sorry how slow the first uh, the first guide went, but uh, we'll make this one a lot faster. So let's go ahead and get started. We just got the dentures, and now search this crate, and it's going to tell you that you are that there is something and you can fall below. You want to do it, but make sure, I would suggest having full health or a good amount of health because you are going to go down there and it is going to hurt you. I just took nine damage. So, now we're down here and I'm still flat on my face. And now we're gonna go to the north, to the other side of the cave of course, there are these uh, guys everywhere, and you're gonna search this crate until you find a mold, and you're gonna take it. Now, now that you have that, you can go ahead and teleport anywhere. We're gonna have to. We have a chance to go bank now, so I'm going to bank and make sure when you and I will show you what you're gonna need. I will come back when uh, when I get back to uh, get back to the gnome stronghold. Alright guys, so I'm back in the Gnome Stronghold. I just wanted to tell you one thing before we got back on the, uh, uh, and I want to tell you what we needed before we got back onto the island. So you're going to need prayer potions, the monkey dentures we got, the M mold, some, the monkey mold, amulet mold, some uh, anti-poisons, a plank, a gold bar, uh, that's just strange fruit that I got, uh, potion, uh, energy potions, and food. So, and then any armor that will help you keep your prayer up longer will help a lot. And any, and, because we're about to run a lot, and so if you have, like, boots of lightness or anything, that'll also help. So I'll, uh, I'll come back when I'm back on the Monkey Madness Island. Alright, guys, so we're back on the island. And so, now what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, again, we're going to run a lot. So, turn on Protect from Melee, and, uh, start walking over, over this way. And you see that dungeon sign over there? That's where we're going to go. Uh, making me walk all the way around here. Okay, so go down. And we're going to start running. Now, keep protect from melee on at all times. Now, this seems like a big maze, but it's really not. The uh, the only thing you need to only thing you need to do is make sure you go left and not right, because right will just take you right down to a dead end. So you just keep running, keep running, and um, just keep following the path. Eat when eat when necessary. Keep protect from melee on. Uh, drink your potions. If you got strange fruit, that'll work too. Um, and you just 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 follow the path, basically. You'll take some damage from uh, falling rocks every now and again. This is long, so bear with me with the run because you're gonna have we're gonna have to do it twice. So if you guys don't know already, um, this is the best place to uh, get your range level up. There are uh, you can get uh, you can get red chins and uh, stand around here, and they will uh, they will get you if you gather up enough of these skeletons. About I don't know if you have like seventy range, like four to. Four to five hundred, three to five hundred XP per chin, so it's really fast range XP. Um, so this is where you'll need the plank. You just, if you want, you can run over them. You don't, you don't have to use the plank. The plank just keeps you from getting hit um, with that. 
but you can just run right over it. I'm not sure how much damage you'll take from it, but, uh, so if you want to, you can just go for it. We're almost at the end, guys. Well, I'm out of run. That's okay. I'll go ahead and... There's only two, so you only have to do this twice. Get damn rock get out of my way. All right, guys, and we have almost made it to the end. No reason to drink another potion. I'm almost there. All right, and so we have made it to the end. Take off your protect for melee now because now you're good. You're gonna meet up with three. Uh, let's talk to Zuknok, and he's basically gonna tell you how to get a um, how to get a uh, a monkey. Actually, now that I think about it, we might have to go through it three times. But he's gonna show you how to get a uh, a monkey uh, amulet. Oh man, I just realized I forgot um I forgot we need a ball of wool as well. But that that's okay. Um because we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna go bank here in a second. Um so just ask him what you need for the monkey talisman um and all that. And uh ask him what you need for the monkey amulet. And then you know he's not he's not much of a help. So then use your uh, use your gold bar with him. He's gonna take it from you. Sorry. So after you give him the gold bar, use uh use the mold with him, and then uh, use the dentures with him. He's going to say, give him a moment. He's going to give you an enchanted bar and the mold back. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, teleport out of here and uh, go bank, get a ball of wool, and uh, I'll I'll come back when, we're, uh, when I'm back at the island. Hey, guys, I'm on my way back. I just want to let you know what you need while I'm walking back. Um, you're going to need prayer potions, the enchanted bar, a ball of wool, uh, the M... The M the monkey amulet mold man I need to learn to talk and food anti-poisons you know just the just the normal stuff and then what you're gonna do is um go back to the uh go back go ahead and go through the getting caught again by the monkey guards getting shot down getting in the um getting in the jail and getting out and going to where Karam is that's the that's a safe place to be right now, and that's where I'll go. And then when I'm there, I'll start the video back up again. Hey guys, so we're back at Karam, and so uh, now what we're gonna do now that you have your ball of wool enchanted and all that stuff that I told you earlier, we're gonna turn on protect from melee again, and we're gonna go inside this temple. Go in and uh, recharge your prayer if needed. Now, I said in the first one you that you could walk through them. But there are two guards over there that, like, you can't walk through them. You gotta go around here to where they can't hit you. Open the trap door. Ah, oh, see? I got caught. And then you have to kind of wait, kind of wait for an opening almost. Because you can't, you can't walk through them. That's what that's what makes this that's what makes this part a pain. There we go. Go down the trapdoor, keep protect from melee on, because there's gonna be uh, zombies around here. Go over here to the wall of flame. Use your enchanted bar with it. Oh, over here then. 
It's almost like a furnace. It's going to give you an M speaking amulet. Use your ball of wool with it, and now you have a monkey speaking amulet. Climb up the rope. Climb up the bamboo ladder. And now you're safe. You can turn off uh turn off protect from melee and then we're going to go back again and so I will um you are going to need we're gonna run we're gonna you don't need to get any running potions yet or anything because we will have to bank one more time before we have to go back to Zooknock so go ahead and just restock you know recharge your prayer and uh, we'll go back and I will start the video back up when I am at a Karam again. Okay guys, and we're back. So after taking 50 bazillion tries to get out of that stupid jail again, good thing it'll be the second to last time we have to do it. So, turn on protect from melee because of the scorpions over here and run over here. Ah, uh, poison, of course. And we're gonna go in here and we are going to hide in this hallway. Now, there are two monkeys over there. There's a mon there's a monkey child and an ant. The ant cannot see you. It doesn't matter if the child sees you. So, pick go over here and pick 5 bananas because the monkey child cannot count and his grandma asked him to pick his aunt asked him to pick uh 5 uh 20 bananas for him, but since he can't count then you just give them five or so and it's fine. Oh, I forgot to put on this. Oh, and if the ant starts coming back, just hide right here again. And then we're gonna give them the five bananas, talk to him, give him the five uh give him the five bananas, and then talk to him again and tell him you're you're his uncle. And then um actually you're gonna tell him you're his uncle first and then he's gonna ask for the bananas you give him the bananas and then you come back and he's gonna give you a, his toy and his toy is the is the talisman you need to be able to um to be able to turn into a monkey so i'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and just see that that's the ant right there and that yellow dot so when she walks back into the house you can just talk to them talk to the child and just every time she's about to come back then just run back in here again so i will i will start the video again hey guys sorry about before i kind of got kind of paused it before i got to finish my sentence but so i'm walking back to Verrock now or to the gnome stronghold and um i'll tell you what you'll need you'll need the monkey bones the the monkey amulet the prayer uh, prayer potions, anti poisons, and super energy potions, which I will be getting when I get to the bank, and recharge your prayer and stuff. And we'll be running to Zooknock again. So I will go ahead and I will I will go there, start uh, and start it back up when I get to Zooknock and show you guys how to get the Gree Gree. Make sure you have your monkey bones too. If I forgot to mention those, you'll you'll need those at this part too. So I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, guys. So we're back at Zooknock. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to use uh, your your monkey talisman and your bones. And he's going to give you the Gree Gree. And now, oh, now it's going to do another cutscene. Why am I here? Uh, I guess I must have accidentally glitched myself into the thing when I clicked. Oh well. So, um, I'm going to get my other three Gree Grees, and then I will meet you guys back on the island where you guys will need your M speaking amulet and your, uh, and your Gree Gree. Actually, I think I'll end this part here, so I will meet you guys back for part three and the final part of Monkey Madness so we can get this quest finished.